What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, I actually wanna take you guys through a live uh, coding troubleshoot session. So I had someone reach out to me for help with their website. Um, they wanna get a title and then an icon and then a short description underneath. And the problem is that things aren't really lining up on desktop um, and the descriptions are like pretty squished too. And the reason for this is that he had to put spacer blocks in between each icon because he couldn't get it to lined up correctly because he has five basically columns that uh, he needs to be all evenly spaced. So if I go ahead and take out all of the split spacer blocks, you're going to see why he felt like he needed to put them in there. going to go through and delete all of these blocks. Okay, so you can see like the really frustrating thing about having five images next to each other is that they can't all be the same size. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's due to the fact that Squarespace works on the column system and the columns have to add up to a width of 12. Um, and because you can't divide 12 evenly by five, I'm pretty sure that's the problem. So um, if I come in here to the row that all of these images are sitting in, uh, we have a column three, a column three, and then two, two, two. Yeah, so this is two, four, six, nine, twelve. So the reason that um, that all of the images won't just become the same size is because of Squarespace using this column layout. Uh, and again, you can't develop you can't divide 12 evenly by five. It has to um, fit into one of these sort of column bracket numbers. Um, so the only way to get them all be the same size is to use custom CSS. Um, and so that is why he reached out to me. So what we're gonna have to do is target the, these column blocks and we're gonna have to set their width to 20%. And then we're going to uh, likely have to do some media queries to make it work on mobile. So before we even jump into the custom CSS, um, he has another problem. Uh, and it's just because of how he set up his blocks. So when it goes down to mobile, all of the titles appear, and then all of the images appear, and then all of the descriptions appear. So I want to address this issue first because this is actually just an issue with how he inputted the blocks into the website. Um, and if some of you are having the same problem, then this will help you guys troubleshoot that. And this doesn't require any code. So the first thing, whoops, the first thing I want to do is center all of these titles. because some of them weren't centered and that's just going to help uh, with the look. So right now all of these are in a row, all of the images in a row, and all of the descriptions are in a row. So all we have to do is just drag the block up under this photography title and the whole layout is going to shift but this is what we need to do in order to get them to appear correctly on mobile. So then I'll do the same for all of these titles. Oops. Okay, so now if we go down to the mobile view, um, these the images and the titles are all going to show correctly, but then all of the descriptions are going to be at the bottom. Just as a demonstration, Cool, so all we have to do is do the same thing with the descriptions and then they will appear normally on mobile. Um, so I'm just gonna do that really quickly. And this is actually like 
a pretty common problem that people run into and it's such a simple solution but you just really have to pay attention to the little black line when you're dragging your blocks um, because it really it doesn't make a difference when it gets down to mobile it, the little line determines how the blocks are gonna be lined up okay cool so now that we have everything looking normal on mobile that's exactly what we want. Uh, we won't even have to set a media query, which is awesome. Um, a mobile media query, that is. We're just going to have to target these columns for desktop. All right, so I'm going to hop into the custom CSS. Um, the great thing is it makes our lives a lot easier. He is using an index page. So I can just restrict the code that I'm writing to this all services section on the index. <clears throat> if he wasn't using an index page, uh, this would be a lot more difficult to troubleshoot. Um, but again, this makes it a lot easier on me. The fact that I can restrict this custom code that I'm writing to just that section. Okay, so I just want to come up here and find the section name. Oops, I'm going to do that one more time. And I think it's going to be hashtag all services. Yep. But I just wanted to make sure. Cool. Okay. All right. Hashtag all services. Now let's look at the columns that we have to target. Because um, just because Squarespace won't divide it evenly into 12, uh, we can override it and just set each column to have a width of 20%. So that's why this can be fixed with the custom code. Uh, I just have to see what columns we're dealing with in this row. So if I drag this over, you can see here's our row that all of these columns are sitting in. And then we have a column three, a column one, a column three, a column two, and a column three. So I'm gonna rearrange these to have to write less code. Um, I'd like them all to be either column threes or column twos. So I think if I just drag over this guy who's a column one because he's so small. Yeah, cool. So now we're just gonna have column threes and column twos to have to write code for. Um, okay, so I'll open my inspect again and find my row. Now we just have column threes and column twos to write code for. Cool, so this is uh, really easy actually. Uh, you can see that right now the column threes have a width of 25% and the column twos have a width of 16%. So all we have to do is set all of these columns to have widths of 20%. So I'm targeting both SQS column 3 and SQS column 2, and I'm going to set the width to 20%. And I'm going to throw an important, oh, it didn't even need the important. Let's see. Oh, I forgot, period. Okay, there we go. Woo. Uh, and then let's take the important tag off. Let's see if we actually need it. I'll save it and reload the frame. I like to not use important tags because if you have too many important tags on your page, then important tags start overriding important tags and it just it gets pretty out of control. Um, so here we go. We now have uh, all of these columns taking up the same amount of space on the page. Hey guys, Chris from the future here. As I was editing this video, I it just got so boring, I was just rambling. So I'm gonna pause the video here and I'm gonna jump ahead to a point in time where I'm writing a media query because when I was scaling down the browser width, all of the titles were too big. There were too many, the titles were too wide and as I was scaling down the screen, they started really collapsing on each other and looking horribly. So I'm gonna skip ahead in, in time where I'm writing a media query to basically 
uh, make the titles smaller on tablet so that they aren't wrapping and looking really horrible on tablet. So sorry for the interruption, but I promise I'm saving you guys a bunch of really boring content. Okay, skipping ahead now. Okay, so we're gonna have our normal code up here and we're gonna have our media queries down here. So for all services, uh, we want, Uh, what is this? This is just a P. It's just a paragraph tag. It's not a, a special title or anything. So I want the font size to be, let's say, like 16 pixels. Okay, on 16 pixels, it's still wrapping on photography. So I'm just going to bump it down by a pixel until we're not wrapping anymore. Okay. So we're good on desktop, we're good on tablet, uh, and then I'm going to add a new media query for mobile because we don't want that applying to mobile, and we're going to say max width. 640 pixels and for the font size I'm just going to put it to there should be a way to there we go inherit okay I'm just going to set the font size to go back to what it was on desktop so now on tablet we get smaller uh, but then it bumps back up again on desktop so I don't know if that's exactly um, what he wanted but at least it's it's looking correct on all screen sizes now um, it's a, a bit of a bummer that the title can't be bigger on tablet but that's the only way for it not to look really horrible on tablet is just to make those titles go smaller um, so there's not a lot that I can do about that, um, but at least we wrote code that is distributing everything evenly, um, and you know everything is looking pretty good on all screen sizes. So the last thing that I want to do is make sure that the icons are much smaller than they are, um, and the best way to do that is going to be to write a max width uh, style. For on the image block so it will never get bigger than a certain dimension and that will be across all screen sizes so I want to make sure that I do it uh, not in a media query but just in this first one so I'm going to again I'm going to write it in the all services section and I'm going to be targeting the image blocks so they have a class of dot image block I'm going to open up some curly brackets and I'm going to set a max width of let's say like 120 pixels and see how that looks uh, maybe that's a little bit small let's go like 150 uh, and 150 looks pretty good let's just do 170 all right so the images are never going to get bigger than 170 pixels but you can see they're shifted to the left now uh, they're not centered and the way to fix that is to add a margin of zero auto so you can see the icons now jumped to the middle so there's no margin on the top and the bottom and the margin on the left and the right is set to auto so that it's perfectly centered so now uh, again they're they're always going to be uh, they're never going to be bigger than 170 pixels and if I go down across the screen sizes, you can see that they maintain that smaller look. Because, and, and this is important, the reason that I did this is if I take away this image block code, uh, oh, my computer is kind of lagging out a little bit. Okay, so if I cut this image block code, you can see that the, the images span the full width on mobile and that looks really horrible so that's why it's important uh, especially to write this uh, image block code that 
limits that how wide those images can get. So that's a really good way to unify the size across screen sizes. Uh, and now we can see that this is looking really nice. All right, so that pretty much solves his problem um, that he had before. Everything looks good on all device screen sizes. Uh, it just took me a little bit of time to sort of figure out the problem, rearrange the blocks so everything was looking appropriate, and then writing some code uh, to make sure that it looked good on all screen sizes. And again, if he follows up and says, you know, uh, I want to make those couple changes for other screen sizes, then I can go in and add those media queries. But right now, it looks like we pretty much solved his problem. Um, so I think he's going to be pretty happy with it. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. Um, it was less structured, it was sort of more freeform. I was just, you know, filming my troubleshooting. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content, let me know. You know, leave me a comment down below um because it's a little more real it's a little more raw me just sort of you know going through the process as i would instead of like editing down the video and cutting out a lot of the boring parts so <laughs> sorry if this was boring for you um but again it's a little more real and, and true to form of how i go through troubleshooting problems uh and, and writing the code for it so thank you guys so much uh Please subscribe to my channel for more Squarespace content. Um, I specialize in custom CSS and, and, and making Squarespace websites that are more professional, more custom. So again, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys need help with your website, some custom coding, if you're just spending hours trying to figure stuff out uh, and you'd rather hire me to do it, uh, so I can troubleshoot it like this, uh, please just contact me through my website. Um, my rate is is on my website um, so go ahead and just shoot me an email and and I can work on troubleshooting your website all right guys thanks so much I'll see you in the next one